Hi everyone, this is Joseph from Forest Tech Reviews, aka your favorite Cajun tech reviewer, back with another video. Today's video, I'm going to do the first 10 things you should do or some tips and tricks with the Pixel 7a. But before I get into this video, check this out. Okay, everyone, so I'm back with another video today. Today's video, yes, I'm going to discuss the first 10 things you should do once you pick up the Pixel 7a or some tips and tricks. These are the things that I did when I picked up the Pixel 7a. If you did anything different or if you do anything different, if you have any tips and tricks, let, let me know in the comments. I love having a friendly discussion with everyone in the comments section. I will try to answer most questions and reply to most comments in there. But again, when you pick up these phones, you wanna make it your own, you wanna learn some tips and tricks about it. And that's where I love making these types of videos. So let's get into it because normally these videos are long anyway, and I can talk forever, y'all. But look at that Pixel 7a in snow. And here's my beautiful display. And I guess the San Antonio Spurs got the first drowned draft pit, so everyone around me is, is happy, but they still gonna suck, so. But let's get into it. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is change your app grid size. So when you get the phone, it's, it's four by four, and it took a little bit to find it. I remember I had another video where I showed how to do it. You want to change it. I, I can't stand four by four, so I want to do a five by five at least. So if you click in the middle where somewhere is empty, you go into wallpaper and style. If you scroll down, it says app grid and you can change it to four by five, four by four, three by three down there, or you can even do two by two. I don't know who would do that. So I changed it to five by five. Pretty simple. It's easy to do. Just go in there and change it if you want to. If you like four by five, that's up to you. But five by five is the best. While you're in there, number two is go back into there, change your wallpaper. You can change the color. You can pick out different, you know, styles you want. However you want your theme to look, you can pick it out. You can change the wallpaper. There's so many different styles and wallpapers that you can get in here just go pick one that you like and set up the phone that you you know the way you want it or if you if you have your favorite wallpaper download it and put it in there but you want to go ahead and change it to your style make pick out the colors you want let's just keep it moving the third thing i don't know why google did this maybe they don't want to show off the smoothness of their display or they want to fool you with battery life because when you get the phone it is set up with the 60 hertz refresh rate and not up to 90. how you change that is you go back into your settings you find the display settings here at the bottom it says smooth display i have it turned off just for, i actually have it turned on but normally when you get the phone it is off so you want to make sure you just turn that on that way you can get the complete smoothness of that display. I don't know why Google did that. That's like a Samsung move. So you just want to make sure you turn that on. All right, so let's keep this moving. The fourth thing I want to show you at the bottom on my last screen, you can see I have four tech reviews. You can put anything down there. If you want to put it like an email, you can put an email address. If you want to put a contact number just in case you know, you lose your phone, but you hit display, go to lock screen, and it says add text on lock screen, and you can type in anything you want right there. It's pretty easy, and you just hit save, and it will show up on your lock screen, just like that at the bottom. That was a pretty simple one. Hopefully, you know, y'all do that already, but let's keep it moving. Number five is always on display. So right now, if I turn off my screen, nothing happens, nothing pops up. Okay, and well, they actually have the always on display. So if you go into your settings, go back to display, go back to lock screen. If you scroll down where it says always show time and info, if you turn that on, and now I lock my screen, 
I have an always on display at the top. Just right there. It's easy. I like it. It does say it drains the battery. I don't know how much it will drain it, but you know, I will test that out and see how much it drains it. But I always like the always on display. If you don't like it on, then you don't have to change that setting at all. All right, so let's keep this moving. Number six, I'm gonna go into gestures. So you go back into your settings, you go to system, you go into gestures. So in here, you have many different options. You know, you can quickly open the camera, you can flip for a camera selfie, you can tap to check your phone, which I do all the time. The other one is quick tap to start an action. So it should take a screenshot if I tap and it took a screenshot. So if you go back in there, if I go back to gestures and actually system gestures, you can do a couple of things, access your digital assistance. You can pause media. You can see recent apps, no, Show notification, toggle the flashlight. So if I do that one, if I tap on it, it's gonna show up the flashlight. That's actually pretty cool. I might keep that one on just for the rest of this video. So that was number six, going to gestures, set up what you want, turn off what you don't use. Number seven, so if I hold down the power button, right now it doesn't, it asks Google for help which it doesn't do anything. If you want to turn off your phone, you have to swipe down and then clear this, swipe it all the way down, and the power button is down there. You can actually change that, and how you do that is go back into your settings, back into systems, back into gestures, and it says press and hold power button. So if you click on that, I hit power menu, and now the power menu comes up. I'm gonna leave it that way because if I need Google Assistance, I can say the magic words and Google will pop up. Number eight is the safety and emergency. I don't think a lot of people use this, but we need to start using it a little bit more. Safety and emergency in here, you can put your medical information, you can put emergency contact, you can set up car crash detection. So if you're in a wreck, it will ask you, you know, hey, are you in a wreck? Are you okay? And it will send emergency, you know, responses to you if you don't respond, which is pretty good. So go in there, set it up, and make sure you know, you know, you have your medical information in there. So if someone, if you, if you need an emergency, they know where to get it and they can get all your important information. If you can't, you know, speak and, you know, unable to speak, at least the emergency group or emergency responders will have that information. All right, number nine is home settings. If you click into the middle where it's open, you bring up your home settings, you can go in here and you can do, if you want to turn off at a glance, you can turn that off. If you want to allow screen rotation, you can do that. If you don't want the Google app, you know, if when you swipe this way, if you don't want Google there, you can turn that off also, which is good. The other one I turned off is add apps to the home screen. So when I was downloading apps, it would just pop up on my home screen. I don't like that. So I always turn that one off. So go in there, make it your own, pick out the ones that you don't want to use. And think. if you don't want notification dots, you can actually turn that off too in the notification part of it. Pretty simple to do. All right, so let's wrap up the video. I don't wanna make it super long, but it's probably already a long video already. The last thing I always recommend, it's not really a tip or trick, it's really a tip. Buy a case and get a good screen protector. You probably already watching this, you probably already watched the screen protector video. Pick up the Spigen glass screen protector, get your rinky case or a Spigen case. Just get you a case for your phone, get you a good screen protector like the Spigen one, and protect your device. Yes, it costs you $499. You want to make sure you protect your investment 
and not have it all broken up or cracked. So get that screen protector, get that case. Now those was the 10 things that I do when I got this phone. Again, if you do something different, let me know in the comments. We can have a friendly discussion. If you like to learn something in the video today, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you do so for more coverage on the Pixel 7a. Also make sure you follow me on Twitter at Forza Views. Become part of the BAM Nation. And until next time, peace. I'm out of here. Y'all have a great day.